anyway. Um, so I got this one a while ago. I ordered it. I think I ordered it in December or January. I don't remember. I ordered it shortly after it got relief. That I remember. I have to look at my email. <laughs> Didn't do that. That's okay. No big deal. Doesn't matter. It is available on the website. I was stalking the website to see what the two new releases were when I looked at it Saturday, and I was like, nope. Nope, that's still, I got all the best horse ones I got. So, if anybody wants a review on any of the horse ones, I did do a review on Ready to Ride and a review on Black and White, I think it's called. The Percheron horse with the snow and the pretty shimmering um, under the tree and the snow. So, of course, <laughs> I had to get this one. I mean, come on now. It's, you know my kind of picture and it's huge <laughs> so i'm a little intimidated so cheer me on when i start it people tell me it'll be beautiful just take your time that, that's what i'll tell myself okay so it's horses red barn by susan wignett i don't know if i said that right but anyway i don't think i have anything by her yet i've seen some other ones she's done and it's pretty cool so this one of course was like and it just needs to go home with me so yes um it's a big one for me, it's a big one. It's 89 centimeter by 51 centimeter. So this one, I finished it with a big, small one. Because this is what I started with. Yeah. Little Amazon. 30 by 40 or 40 by 30. However you want to say it. That's one of the ones I've been working on in the weapon chat. And it's almost done. So I will have a review for that one. When I'm done with it today, I will do a review tonight probably. But yeah, I wanted to open this one. And it has two AB. So yeah. I was excited. So I haven't opened it, so I wanted to open it with you guys. And I, um, I'm trying not to over buy on Diamond Art Club because I just, one, I need to watch my spending and try to help my husband save money. So I probably won't be purchasing any more from Diamond Art Club unless I come out with another horse one that just speaks to me. Like I really almost bought War horse or war pony and I was like, I'm like I already have my chuck that I'm gonna work on and this one and the chuck with the birds the bluebird one I'm like yeah I really think I'm gonna try to make sure I don't order diamond art club until I have at least the chuck I'm doing with the chuck along and then the bluebird one and then maybe I will just and I have a small one that I also have from diamond art club so I am Stating right now, I am telling you guys, I am not going to buy from Diamond Art Club until I have at least two more done. <laughs> so I'm holding myself accountable. At least two more done from Diamond Art Club. Just so I don't overwhelm myself and then never get to do all of the pretties. Because the little ones are fine. The 30 by 40s, the 40 by 50s, those ones are okay. I can do those in, like this one, it's like a week. I can do those. It's just the really large ones I don't want to overwhelm myself and have too many and not be able to decide which ones I want to do next and not waste money by never doing them. So that's at least how I'm looking at it right now. Unless they come out with another really cool horse one. I mean, I could collect all the chocks. I love all the chocks. I mean, I love some of the other ones with horses. But this one spoke to me because... I mean, it's not just a horse and like, it's three horses and pretty flowers and a couple birds in a barn. And so the fact that there's not just one, but two and three horses. And there's a house. Looks like there's a house way in the back. I don't know if anybody can see that, but yeah. So this one like was speaking to me that it needed to be bought. So it's got 44, which I'm not too intimidated by 44 colors now. So, and it's square. I don't know if anybody saw that square. Square toolkit. They tell you all over square. I don't remember if I noticed on the website. It didn't matter. To me, I was buying it. So. Um, well, everybody is seeing these a million times on everybody else's channels, but I'll just do it quick for my channel because I haven't done an unboxing of the Diamond Art Club for you guys yet. So, we've got these. 
They're so generous. And, ooh. So do the square ones come with the blue pen? Okay. I just like to keep the squishies on the pen because it makes it easier. Pen, squishy. Because I have clear pens coming out too. The don't stab yourself tweezers. The good wax. Four placer. And the clear tray. I love the clear trays. I use those all the time. I, um, if I'm not using one of my blue trays for white, then I will use the clear tray because I like the way the clear tray is. There's something on those tweezers. I'll clean them off. But I, um, I have a collection of these. I love these ones. They're great. I did not like multi-placing until I got the skinny placers in a kit and I realized, oh, that's not so bad. Well, that'll be, I'll just throw that stuff to get taken care of later. But yeah, here's a little sticker. Here's my sticker sheet. And I keep these stickers and I put them on um, my containers so I can look back and see what diamond art club ones I did and just look at the pretty pictures and just decorate my clear containers because nobody else uses them but me. And yeah, that's what I do. I don't have a love book. I let Facebook keep track in my um, in my album I have on my phone and my album on Facebook for my diamond paintings. I let that keep track of how many and the ones I've done because I, I um, post them all on my Facebook so I can keep track of the ones I've done. I was starting like a little log book where I was buying them and I just stop writing in it because <laughs> I got busy. I got three kids. But yes, she's got two ABs in her. And the artist is Susan Wingett. That's hope that's how you pronounce it. But I've seen other ones on Feminine Art Club from her and um they're very nice looking too. So I'm excited. Intimidated. But excited. Like I said, I've got the chuck to do with the check along and then I've got the um chuck other truck I bought at Hobby Lobby and the Bluebirds that I want to do for my aunt. And I'm going to do it and frame it for her. So that was my idea. Oh my god, the horses are so big. And here's your instructions. Everybody turn out a million times. Oh my god, turn her around. Sorry. I saw me. She's going the wrong way. I don't know if they're here or she's, but I know one is definitely a sheep because, and I'm sure my son will ask me, which one's the mommy one? Which one's the daddy? So I'm going to say, I don't know. I'm going to say the one standing with the foals, the mommy, and then the other one's the daddy. Well, that house is not that big. Maybe it's another barn. I don't know. But there she is. And it actually, um, usually I have an issue with actually, um, flatten out quite quickly. So, of course, when I roll it back up and put it in there, then it'll be a hot mess, but whatever. That's just me. So, I'm going to get you a little closer. Sorry. There's a, look, there's a pretty flower. Sorry, I'm easily distracted lately by things. Um, but yeah, there is this Ford glue, like every other one I've gotten from them, and I enjoy them. Um, you can go on other people's YouTube, they have codes. I think Mindy has a code, Mrs. Coffee has a code, Kay... oh, I don't know if Donnie has a code, I think. but yeah, a lot of people have codes, and then when you get it, there's a code on your little sheet and then there's a code um, down here for another percentage and when you go on their website if you've never been on diamond art club's website they also have a usually have a 10 percent off code it says to use it and then you could just put that in so there's always like a little discount you can get whether it be when you already bought one and i know you still get the codes when you do buy them in the store what i didn't know and i've already done the two big ones I bought in the store, and I just haven't registered the Bluebird ones, but I don't see having problems. I do not really matter. But I do know, I um, didn't realize after I bought them, 
when you buy the Diamond Art Club in the store, you need to go on and you have 30 days from buying it to register it. So that way if there's any problems and you need any replacement drills or you have a problem with the canvas or something happens, it's registered. Because they don't know you went and bought them. Now, <laughs> at um, Hobby Lobby, so I didn't realize that. So, But I didn't have any problems with the two I bought at Hobby Lobby. I have one more I bought at Hobby Lobby. The whoop, it's a, I can imagine having a problem. But it is nice to know. So let me pan you a bit so you can get a better picture of how big and pretty she is. Oh my god, I'm so and it's kind of cool because I um don't have any that's like a long like usually they're really wide, but I thought I'm kind of liking the size of this one. I kind of like that it's long. So probably what I'm going to do, and I've seen a lot of people do that with the um, huge Mandy Bizano with the Minions, is um, usually when I section, I start in the corner. So probably what I'll do is I'll pick, I might want to go from the barn and then two horses to the other barn door. Maybe what I want to do. Because this is usually the corner I end in. So I was thinking maybe what I would do is start down here and then work my way like do a cross and then do to the horse maybe and then flip it and do that way maybe I don't know I don't know how to do such a big one like that if it's easier to do it and then flip it the other way once you get halfway um, but I Probably as long as I can keep the, the plastic from ripping. I sometimes get too aggressive when I um, place it when I rip it. So we'll see. I'll probably go this way and then flip it and then go back the rest of the way. But yeah, I mean, this definitely has lots of color if you like changing out colors. But it's just kind of like my um, Ready to Ride. It's got um, the barn has rows of color blocking which I love the way it turns out with a barn it looks so cool but yeah up here in this barn it has nice pretty rows to do so and over here and it's just it's not confetti heavy it looks like so I mean the horse has got a good amount of detail and confetti in it but this guy's got a bunch of color blocking so it may not go as, may not take me as long as I think it's gonna take me because I see a lot of um, multi-placing and Hopefully when I come done with a chuck, I'll be better at multi-placing squares. Because right now I multiply squares, but I only do four. So, let me show you a few of the drills. And these are the new ones. I know everybody wants to see AB, so mute it if you don't like the noise. have the number and the name so if you separate them which I'm not gonna separate them I'm gonna put them right back in the mouth and oh yeah look at these colors let me before I untangle them although I have gotten a little more skilled at wrapping them back around each other so I'm just searching Oh, look at that. Oh, that was good. Ooh. And I think I saw, and of course, the white flowers on the other one. I think I saw this one in the. There's some white flowers by the barn, and I saw one. So here's our first baby. 141. And I like watching people when they do the colors. I like seeing the pretty colors, but I don't want to make this too long. So I'll just search for the other names. I mean, everybody's seen the train so many times in all the other videos, and I'm pretty sure not everybody likes to see the train. Just curious to see what all the screens, what the other maybe. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one before. Here's 125. Well, that's cool. 
So I've got a creamish one. And this is almost like a greenish to it. It's got like this, almost like a greenish tint to the white. It's like a, I don't know, like a very, very light green. I think that's pretty cool. I like those. Those are pretty. So those will be fun. I mean, it's got, you know, reds for the barn, and greens for the grass, and the pretty colors for the flowers, and then brown and shades of brown and other brown for the horses. So it's definitely going to be a fun one. It's definitely going to be a pretty diamond painting when it's done, and I kind of am feeling a little less intimidated now because it does have quite a bit of color blocking, and I enjoy color blocking a lot. I don't enjoy changing the color every two drills, so I will enjoy doing this one. And I will definitely show you when it's done, when I get to it. Like I said, going down the rope. I'm trying to do a big one, a little one. And then after that big one's done, take a break from whatever size, whatever it is round, do a good size square one, or do a you know go back and forth that's what i do to keep it interesting and i always throw in specials i have a bunch of partial specials that i can throw in in the middle if i finish you know my big custom i'm working on and don't want to jump into another big one then i will obviously throw in a couple of the fun specials that i have just to do just to break up and keep myself going because sometimes i get bored with the same same painting and I have to move on and do something different. But yeah, that I show you guys this. Um so yeah, leave any questions here down below. Um I can definitely take pictures and post them to my Facebook. Um, like I said, I'm thinking about joining or doing my own Facebook group and doing it as a tutorial sort of for people who have the same questions I keep seeing coming up and up and then have pictures and references and names of websites to go check out. But yeah, I thought this one was definitely, I mean, how cool is this one? It's, yes, I can see now that I have a couple and I've done two, I can see why people just can't stop stalking the website because, I mean, look at those horses. My husband's going to look at this one I do it and go huh? you went from the crazy horse lady to the crazy diamond being lady but that's okay I'm alive so yep so there's the pretty diamond painting that's a horse's red barn a very easy name to remember especially for me because I keep forgetting the name of the chuck I'm going to be working on but yeah I thought I would show you guys this, and if anybody hasn't seen it yet, I mean, it's beautiful. It's going to turn out. I mean, I can just, you could just hang these on the wall, and if people didn't know what they were, they'd be like, oh, that's a pretty picture. Like, yes, it'll be even prettier with diamonds on it. So yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of those pretty ones in here that I can see. I don't know where the twos are, but I see ones. But yeah, I thought it would look really cool. And... Yeah, he's definitely going to have to make a frame for it because it's going to need a custom frame. Good thing my husband has decided to take up framing. But yeah, let me show you guys this one. Have a great day. Just remember, diamond painting is fun. It's a craft. It's meant to be a joy. I enjoy it. It helps me with my anxiety. It makes me a happier person. It makes me a happier mom, a better mom, a happier wife. So yeah, that's... This is my enjoyment that I just share because I want to help out people that are looking for good reviews on things and looking for things to stay away from because I thought, why not? I'm enjoying it and I answer a lot of questions on love Facebook groups, so why not have another spot that people can look? And if nobody's seen this one up close, yeah, this is definitely a good buy on my part. I yeah, because it's hard to tell when you see it on the website. Oh, but yeah, when you see it in person, yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna definitely 
Enjoy every minute of this one. But yeah. Bye.